Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V. Last time we made our way through the Diggory Pokery, which is like a minecart maze type of place. It's really obnoxious. It's one of the most obnoxious dungeons in the entire game, but we thankfully made it through. And then we found the Zenithan Castle, which is underwater. We met up with Dr. Aegon, who apparently is a Zenithan, and he remembers that the fairies created two orbs. One of the orbs is the golden orb, which we had back as a kid, but Laja destroyed it. So we need to try to find the fairy queen to make her create another one. And all he tells us is, is that there is a forest somewhere in the world that will lead us to the realm of the fairies. We don't know where, because... God forbid anybody tells us anything, but basically we just kind of have to look around. Oh, Yeah, the kids are upset because, um, if you recall, uh, we got to see a flashback of, um, Pappas' death again. Thankfully, though, the, where is it, the Zeniatha is added to our, um, to our Zoom list. So, something that I want to show off, it's not the biggest deal if I can find- Okay, if you go to wheel- Really? Seriously, game? Seriously? Do I have to evac out of here? I think that you're not allowed to zoom out of this room, but you can zoom out of this room, I'm pretty sure is the way that it works. I don't know why it really matters, but yeah, it's- 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 it's ridiculous. Okay, whatever. Anyway, let's head on here to Wheelbrook. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Kringle's kind of sweet, I've got to say. Yeah, that's cute. Um, but we actually get some new dialogue if you go here into the basement. Yeah, this is where we went to the Realm of the Fairies. So it's not a big thing, but yeah. So what we need to do now is find the Realm of the Fairies. And the closest place to go to is Mastiferado. Salabona? Whatever it is you want to say. Um, because there is a spot over here that we haven't yet gone to if you look at the world map. Basically, like, this was really hard to do on the SNES because you didn't have a world map really to look at. But on the DS version, now that you have this map, it is a little bit easier. So if you recall down here was the volcano that we went to, but there's still a piece of the map over there that we haven't yet been to. So let's see if we can't, uh, head on over here. Let's see. See that little place down there to the bottom right hand corner? That's where we want to go because that forest looks just a tad bit different. And we can head on in here. Oh. We literally just walked in. Oh, wait. You can talk to the trees? What is this? Sword of Hope? I will get to it eventually. I really do want to Let's Play Sword of Hope for whatever reason. I just, I like that. Well, Sword of Hope 2. I've played Sword of Hope 1, but I've never beaten Sword of Hope 2, and I think that's why I want to play it. Just to finally beat the damn thing. Get a mini medal. And an elven elixir. That restores your, or all of your MP. So that's very nice to have. Oh. This is the Neverglade, the gateway to the realm of the fairies. Oh, you'll get lost. You'll get lost unless you can see the fairies, then you can get through. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. We'll see. Well, I mean, we did find honey that one time, so I guess we can see the fairies again. I mean, I hope so and everything. Oh, some stumps and whatnot. Let's just follow this, um, path on through here. Get to a little pond here. Let's head right. And continue along our way. Let's see. Ooh, get some treasure! Hey, 1,500 gold! Whoa! And here we have conquistadors and various conquerors. These are like those pip enemies that we saw back in the fairy realm, back when we were a little kid. There was like a fairy priest, a f or a, a little pip, what was it, like a, a pip warrior, a wizard, a priest, and something else, I don't remember, whatever. But they're here now, so, yeah. Go over here to this fire, but do not go up. Go right back down, 
Because remember, we're in the Lost Woods here. And, hey, we got a Fairy Foil. This is a pretty unique item. Um, it's a sword. It can be used to cast a buffing spell. And Kringle can use it. So it's a sword for mages. If you want to give it to her, you can. It's single target. Um, I'm just going to stick it in her inventory. I really got to clean up my inventory. Um, yeah, so if you want her to have single target damage, have at it. I don't really care. Wait, is there? Are you sure? Over by the bonfire? Wait, both of you saw this fairy? Oh, it disappeared. That's lovely. That's just fantastic. I don't... Oh! Wait. So the children can see the fairies, but adults can't. Oh. Okay. At this point, you need to have either Ken or Kringle in your party. If you come in here without them in your party, nothing would happen. There would just be a fire there, and you couldn't examine it. You couldn't talk to anybody. You couldn't do anything else like that. So just make sure that you have um, one of the twins in your party, and the game will take over. Well, that was enormously easy. Why are you dragging me in here? Hmm. There was a treasure that I saw. I don't want to go in here right now. I want to get that treasure. Yeah, I have issues. <laughs> but right over here, let's see, where is it? Oh, I think that we have to go down here, actually, to get to it. Oh, or we can get to a battle. That works, too. Yikes! With some bomb boulders and pummel horses. Oh, cool. Kenna's the zap spell. I completely forgot that he learned that. Awesome. Yeah, I still have everybody on Shona Mercy because... Why not? These dungeons aren't exactly long or anything, so we might as well just show off various spells and kill these guys as quickly as humanly possible. Not that magic's doing all that much damage or anything, but it's there. Anyway, what do we have for all of this effort? Really, game? Seriously. A TNT ticket? Seriously. Whoa! Some Moosifers and what was this? A Quadra head? Yeah, zap the crap out of them! Nice! Oh, that's right! Goody and still. Why is Kringle in second? Oh, I know why. Okay. Um. Whenever Ken left the party, I need to put my order back in. Whenever Ken left the party, he must have left the lineup, so I need to redo the lineup. But Gudian should be in second place because he still has that, what is it, the spiked armor? So that whenever he gets hit, it deals damage back to the enemy. So, yeah. Anyway, very anticlimactic now, but we are now at the, um, the Fairyland. Remember the Fairyland? But now it's springtime. We hear the first time it was winter. So this is pretty nice. 20 years. <laughs> Slap me around the face with the Metal King slime. Oh, the old dwarf made a super squishy playground. I want to go to a playground. That sounds like a lot of fun. Didn't there used to be like a skeleton here or something? I wonder if the skeleton died. Well, how a skeleton could die is beyond me, but you know what I mean. Well, you're completely useless. That's just fantastic. Let's see what we got here. Okay, um, there's quite a bit of nice things here. The flame armor, um, helps against, um, magic and ice-based attacks. It's pretty damn nice, and it's even better than the uh, Zenith in armor that Ken has. The flowing dress we already have, so Bustier doesn't have any special effects, so who really cares? The flame shield is also very, very nice. Um, this is really good because it helps against magic and ice-based attacks, um, but it's also incredibly expensive. The power shield, this is the shield of strength. It can cast mid-heal in battle. It doesn't have any sort of resistances, though, and we've already seen the thinking cap before. For right now, I don't have a whole lot of money, um, but I am going to go ahead and purchase a flame shield for, let's see, David, because right now he only has the magic shield, 
so it would be a nice upgrade for him to go ahead and have that. And with that, that's all that I'm going to buy here. Yeah, I'm kind of cheap. I know. What can I say? Oh well. Let's go over here and um, talk to Treacle, and we'll be able to see our old friend Honey, too. Remember her? She was the, um, the NPC that joined us. Hey there. You're Sherbert. Yeah. Oh, it's invisible to humans, but if you blow the fairy horn when you're near it, you should be able to see it, so you need to find a lake in the middle of a dense forest surrounded by mountains. Then you can blow the horn. Okay, yeah. Um, I think that we already read the books whenever we were here the first time. I'm pretty sure. Isn't there like a basement to this place? I feel like there was a basement. Maybe we're already in the basement. Maybe I'm just completely losing my mind. Who knows? Uh, just a priest. Don't care about that. Let's move on. Yeah, hey, honey. Yeah, no kidding. It's been 20 years. Queen Caramel. Wait. Oh, 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 no. This is Treacle. So, okay, so Queen Caramel is who we need to find, I guess, in that palace where we need to blow the horn or something. Syrup of figs! <laughs> like, where do they come up with this stuff? Yes, there is something that you can help me with. Oh. Okay. So Treacle isn't the queen of the fairies. She's just like a leader of the fairies, I guess. But if we blow this fairy horn, then we can meet Queen Caramel, who will be able to create that gold orb for us. We just need to be able to find where she is. So that's yet another thing where you go to the magic carpet and you have to go around and you have to figure out where the hell this forest is and blow the horn and all that. Crap. Lovely. But first, let's look around Fairyland now that it's springtime. Also, around here, the exact same enemies that we fought before, um, you can fight again. If you wanted to recruit these guys, now would be the time. Um, I don't know why you would want to recruit any of these people. It's, yeah. So this isn't exactly the best grinding spot or anything, but hey, if you want to get them, be my guest. Something to note in here that a lot of people don't know about. We can go over here and talk to um, Dwight, or Dwight Slime. Oh. Hey there, Dwight. What's going on? Yeah. Remember Dwight the White Dwarf from 20 years ago? Yeah. Oh, you're a law-abiding citizen now. And he will join your party if you want him to, and he will be like one of your monsters. So if you want him to join, have at it. If you want to get rid of him, you need to go to Monty, the monster person, and drop him off in the little monster thingamajigger. I wonder if he actually joins the wagon. I wonder, I don't even know if I have room in the wagon. Either way, I'm not going to use him. But I figure, you know, he's there. It's kind of like getting tuppence. You're not going to use him, but you might as well check him out. Let's see, there he is. Son of a dwarf! Wow, 8 HP and 2 MP. He has healing abilities. Wow. Wow, he is shit! Oh well. I really don't know how he, like, evolves. Maybe somebody in the comment section who's used him can let me know if he's halfway decent, because I'm really not sure. So this used to be the Winter Palace. Remember this? Yeah, look at this. You have to look at the top screen to see this all, but, like, there's a lot going on here. They have completely routed out the, um, the Winter Palace here, and they've turned it into this playground, I guess, is what they called it. Oh, hey, there's that skeleton from before. Yeah, no kidding. I was wondering what happened to that poor old skeleton, but apparently he's here, just hanging out, having a good old time. Oh, okay, so the Winter Palace melted. Got you. And then you created a TNT board. Very nice. Got a medicinal herb. And yet another- I have probably like 50 TNT tickets by now. My god, you'll like never run out. Okay. Hey there. Okay, sure, whatever. And as usual, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. 
and it, it, it and if I win the TNT board, hey, I win it on screen. If I don't, I'll win it off screen. I'm not gonna worry about it. Woohoo! Not that I need the gold, but whatever. Oh, lovely. I get I, I get to win some more gold. Yay me! Two hundred freaking gold. Who cares? No! A slime and a cure slime. Wow, that's like nothing. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Oh God, no! <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Okay, there we go. He must have ran out of MP or something. Man, I'm swimming in gold in here. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I'm completely screwed. Oh, have we even seen these polywiggles? I don't know if we have. I kind of think that the polywiggles were like that really um, rare monster that occurred in Generation 2 that you could only see that like one time and it was rare to get, but I guess you can get it here. Or I can be completely talking out of my ass too. Who knows? What do we got here? Oh, well, you can buy a fairy foil if you want to. There's nothing else really ha decent here, but yeah, whatever. Really? Oh, come on! Wow. Oh, this is gonna be terrible! I wish that I had that, um... What is it? The stop spell? The fizzle spell? Whatever it is that they call it here, because this is just gonna take... You know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna run. So that really sucked. The mermen actually sapped me, and then they killed me with critical hits. So, um, I'm just gonna go through this until I hit the end. See you in a minute. This might be interesting, though. It looks like there's, like, a cave there or something. Entrance to the TNT dungeon. Sure. Oh, cool! Look at this! Hey! This is kind of nice. Yeah, I get some extra rolls of the dice. Oh, this is different. Oh, yeah! Awesome! Man! Can I get that treasure, too? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Hey! Nice! Oh, I didn't get the treasure. Oh, well. Um, but that was... Really? Wait. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, it's different! Oh, but there's a lot of battles here. There's six. Hold on. Um, let's see. If I do one, two, three, four, five... This way. One, two, Yeah. Hey! Ooh, a dragon shield! Nice! Ugh. This isn't too bad. Okay, it's a goodie bag, and the rock bomb is asleep. This, this, this can't be too terrible. I should be able to kill the rock bomb pretty easily. Okay, yeah, not too bad. Hey! Oh, just a metal. Come on now. Yeah, I was hoping it was gonna be like eight metal babbles or something ridiculous. Not that. That was really shitty. Oh, good god. What's it gonna do to me? Wisdom? Eh, wisdom doesn't really matter. Wisdom up! Hey, cool. Oh, come on! Uh-huh. Okay, so HP. Down. Lovely. Can I just get this freaking thing? You know what? I'm gonna keep on... I'm gonna keep on going. Oh, wait. Is this gonna bring me back? Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see where I'm at now. There's a gate here. Uh, uh. Can I look at the map? Hold, can I, I can't look at the map. So, um, I guess I'll go to the gate. Whatever. Uh. I almost feel like I shouldn't have gone through that hole. Let's see, got six here. What now? Okay, max HP. Down. Lovely. Okay, great. That's just fantastic. That's just my luck. No, this is just my luck! God! A one? Well then, yeah, I want the, uh, heal. 
Screw, screw losing two ro dot rolls of the dice, especially when I'm this close to winning. Okay. Oh, no, I thought it... No, no, no! Ooh! Here's the thing, though. At this point, Metal Slime experience doesn't even matter, and it would, it's only going to benefit David. Nobody else can actually gain a level here. And I'm not going to kill these guys anyway, so, like, it really... Like, this is just a lost cause. I don't even know why I showed it. I should have just skipped this stupid battle, but whatever. Hell, maybe I'll kill this guy. Dumb enough to stick around. All I need is one more hit. Oh, or another one. Wow, he's really staying around for the long haul, isn't he? Okay, here it goes. I need a two. I got a three. That's just great. And, and, and the thing is, you can't go backwards. Like, you can't go backwards. You have to just sit here in this, like, never-ending thing of, you know, uh, until you run out of rolls. Like, this just sucks. What, do I have two rolls left? One, two... And with that, no more dice rolls! Game over! Yay! So close to the finish line. I'm gonna see you there. Finally, like, six tries later and actually making lunch... I reached the finish line. Woohoo! I also got into a treasure trove where I was able to get like a couple of mini medals, some crap, uh, some crappy gold and stuff like that. Um, but I also got a flame tang boomerang there too, so that was kind of nice. Got a happy hat. I also got an elven elixir on my way through. Got a miracle sword. Hey, some nice, nice stuff there. So let's go ahead and look at this this flame tang boomerang. Definitely. Let's go ahead and stick that on David. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah, some other crap that I got in that treasure room. Um, or was it? I got the, the magic shield. I got some other... Just a lot of junk. Um, paring knives, siren swords, pot lids. Um, so, yeah. What else did I get here? This happy hat. Let's see. So this restores some of the wearer's MP with each and every step. Various mages can equip this. Um, it's really nice on people like Michael so that he can continually heal your party up. Also good on people like Kringle, mages who are going to be in your party. I'm going to go ahead and give it to her since she is in my party a lot more than Michael is. Let's look at this Miracle Sword. With each hit, it's going to restore some of your um, HP, so that's very nice. It's great on David. It's also really good on Gudian. So let's go ahead and give it to him. Very, very nice. Um, what else did Gudian have that Dragon Slayer? It's Dragon's Bane, whatever. Uh, let's see. Can anybody else have this? I could... God, I could give it to... Dwight's going to Monster Monty, though, so I really don't care. Um, I'll probably just stick it on David, just in case and get into a battle with, like, a Metal Babble or something, and then David can have access to critical hits. So with that, roughly 45 minutes later, I am done with this TNT board, and I am done with Fairyland, and next time we're going to be tracking down the Fairy Queen to get that golden orb. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and... Have a good day.